Today is Sunday, August 11th, 2019. Yesterday, the Lord put me into a deep sleep in the middle of the afternoon. I had had a regular night's sleep, but I felt a sense of exhaustion, and I knew the Lord was going to give me a message. I lay down, take a nap, and three hours later, I woke up with a humongous message that I need to share with you. It's a, this message is going to be a little longer than I normally would give it to you, but I'll tell you ahead of time what I'm going to cover, and I'll try to give you the minute marks in the description box in case you can't watch the whole thing. Okay, so it's a four-part message. The first part is there's going to be a series of targeted attacks against the watchmen and watchwomen of God and the modern-day prophets. This is directly from the fallen ones. Uh, there is a warning to the fallen ones from the Lord. Um, the second thing I saw was a newly formed volcano in the Pacific Rim. Um, and following that, a detailed vision of wormwood falling to the earth. Um, and the last part of the message the Lord gave me was a vision of the pedophiles and powerful men going underground into steel bunkers. And the Lord gave me a very detailed vision of what that looks like. Also that there is fallen angels down there and that there is cannibalism as well coming from them and i'll give you the scriptures to to go along with this it's pretty powerful all right and so yesterday when i lay down to take a nap i really didn't expect to be asleep for three hours however when i woke up i realized the lord had been um put me into the sleep okay from what i had seen and so i have to tell you that i've never had anything like this happen before um, the visions and the dreams that I'm getting are just like one after the other. I, I can hardly keep up with it, which tells me the Lord is, is, his return is imminent. Okay. That is the main point of this video. Okay. It's a warning to those that are not with the Lord. And it's also a warning to the church, uh, that you need to be repentant. And you need to be with the Lord and in right standing. When the Lord comes, he will take us with him and we will avoid what's coming on the earth. It's going to be horrific. That's the best way I can put it. From what he's shown me, it's going to be so much worse than what everyone thinks. All right, so in the dream, I was given uh, four basic parts, okay? The first thing I saw was um, I saw fallen angels in a, f in a sideways crystal ladder, like what the Lord showed me on, on my August 2nd message, okay? Um, I published it yesterday. So if you want to learn, uh, read about what I saw in Jacob's Ladder video, go back and look at it. So I saw a replica of that underground, and I saw that it was sideways, so it was not going up. Um, and the fallen angels were walking back and forth, almost pacing inside of it. There were tall, thin, humanoid sorts of creatures, uh, but they were completely wicked, and they were giving instructions um, to, almost like an army general would give instructions to his his subordinates uh, to go out and attack the modern day prophets and the modern day watchmen and women um, that are serving the Lord now uh, before the rapture of the church happens. So their job is to discredit and to dis, uh, disenfranchise those pro modern day prophets and watchmen that are spreading the word of the Lord's return. It, it was making them very angry. Okay, and so... Um, in addition to this, I also saw cannibalism spoken and ordered, uh, to kill and eat humans as well. That was, uh, spoken and it, it seemed to me that when they spoke something, um, they expected it to come to pass, um, sort of like a cheap imitation of what God does when he speaks something, he expects it to come to pass. It was the same with the fallen angels in a very prideful, wicked way. Okay, and so the Lord gave me scriptural confirmation on this. He gave me Job 1-7 uh, when, uh, when Satan is walking back and forth and he and comes before the Lord uh, after he does that. And, he, and Job 1-7 says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Okay. Uh, the next confirmation the Lord gave me was Genesis 3.15, when the Lord, uh, he, he curses the serpent, and he promises that an enmity, which is a hatred, will be between the woman's seed, which is the seed of Adam, and Satan's seed, which is the Nephilim, and the fallen angels' seed that they put on the earth in Genesis 6. 
in Genesis 6, verses 1 to 4, the fallen angels uh, come down from, from, from heaven. They have sex with women and breed Nephilim giants. And Enoch 7, 4, 5, and 6, uh, it talks about how the giants became so uh, ravenous that they ate up all the food that the men had grown, and then they turned to uh, cannibalizing men. This is confirmed in Genesis 3, 14, when God cursed the serpent and said, Dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And later on in Genesis 3.19, the Lord tells Adam that he is dust, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And so the Nephilim cannibalism is in the Bible from the very beginning. All right. Um, in first, the warning is to the fallen ones and to those that work for the fallen ones. Um, 1 Corinthians 6, 3, know ye not that we shall judge the angels. We will judge you. Human beings are going to judge you for what you are doing now. Isaiah 54, verses uh, 15 and 17 says, the wicked shall gather together, but for thy sake they will fall. For the righteous sake they will fall. Um, so that was the first part of my message, okay, that the fallen angels and the e wicked ones are planning to attack the holy ones, uh, the righteous um, on the earth, and that the Lord is going to bring them down and make them fall for our sake. And we know the rapture of the church is coming, so we have nothing to fear. We know that we can rebuke anything that comes against us, and we can rely on the promises of Christ. He has authority over all wickedness. So um, true servants of God know this, and um, it's just a warning that we know what's happening, and the Lord has revealed it to us. And um, there will be more uh, revelations coming to those people that work for the Lord. Okay, second part of my uh, message. Part two was I had a vision upon waking, okay? And the vision I saw was of a newly formed volcanic island. This was in the Pacific Rim, I believe. And it was a humongous volcanic island which was springing up from the Pacific Rim. And it was on, coming up from underneath the ocean, and it was piling up lava upon lava. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw. It's a very detailed vision. Um, the bottom cooled into rock, and at the base, so the base of this humongous mountain was like cooling, and the water was steaming, and the top kept spewing up lava and adding to the height of this newly formed island. The steam in the water below kind of frothed and bubbled as the new lava hit the ocean water. And the steam and the chemicals from this volcanic uh, eruption in the ocean was killing the fish and poisoning the oceans too. And so I asked the, asked the Lord, I, I prayed to him and I said, what is this Lord? Because I really didn't know why he was showing this to me. And immediately a second vision followed. I saw an enormous rock fall from the sky, like a red hot coal, which was thrown down from heaven. The front of the rock was hotter than the back as it came through the atmosphere, so it almost glowed like a bright color. It hit in the Pacific Ocean, and the impact of the rock made uh, a mushroom cloud of steam and fire, very similar to a nuclear bomb, only it would be like a thousand times more powerful than a nuclear bomb. Uh, it was enormous and went up into the atmosphere, okay? So this mushroom cloud rose high up into the atmosphere, um, and then I saw, as if I was standing on the western part of where the United States would be, um, I saw a wave of water coming at, towards me, but in my spirit I knew this wave of water had gone out in all directions from the impact of this uh, giant asteroid. So I stood on the western shore of where the United States would have been, and I saw it coming towards me. Um, the wave went north to south as far as I could see, and it was miles miles high and this frothing wall of white churning water was coming towards me and I knew that this wall of water uh, would destroy all the coastal lands that it hit in all directions and it would go the water would go far far inland okay and so um, my confirmation um, when I woke up I asked the Lord to give me confirmations and this is really really interesting because the Lord immediately told me um, two numbers, and he gave me the books to go along with it. So he told me Luke 4, 24, and then he told me Revelation 8, 28. Now, when I looked up, I'll do the second one first because it goes with this. Um, when I looked up 
Revelation 8, 28, there was no, there's no 28 in Revelation. However, um, when I looked up Revelation 8, 2 and 8, it completely matches up with this vision of Wormwood. And so Revelation 8, verse 2 says, And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. If you skip down to Revelation, Revelation 8, 8, which is the next one, it says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And the creatures which were in it, which were in the sea and had life died, and a third part of the ships were destroyed. Okay, so that was my confirmation. The Lord told that to me, and I really do not have those scriptures memorized. I'm not good with memorizing it. The other confirmation the Lord gave me was Luke 4, 24. And it went along with the first part of the fallen ones coming against the prophets of God and the watchmen of God. And uh, it's, and he, which is Jesus speaking, said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. Okay, and so the Lord gave me a scriptural confirmation for both of that when I first woke up from the dream. And I knew that this message is completely from the Lord. And um, through miraculous confirmation, um, it is pretty cool. So the first part of the vision um, was the fallen angels. The second part of the vision was a huge volcano. And the third, the third part of this message was the enormous rock, which was wormwood, which caused the crack on the crust and the volcano to happen. The last part of my message today is about um, how they are going down into these underground bunkers. Um, and the Lord had been showing me for several days before this, this what looked like a foot thick steel box with an opening at the top. And I, I couldn't figure out what it was. I just, it just knew that it was square and the walls of this box were at least a foot thick, maybe more. And I knew it was made of solid steel and it was reinforced and there was a hole. So all I was seeing was this box, the hole at the top, and then like reinforced steel walls that were like a foot thick. And he kept showing these to me in a dream and I would forget it. And then finally yesterday at the end of this long marathon session where the Lord was teaching me, he showed me the rest of this and he showed me the steel box first. So I was like, oh, I remember this. The Lord's been showing this to me for a few days. And then he gave me a vision of uh, a railing going down the steel box. So this, what this was is the top of an entrance to one of the bunkers. Now, the Lord also showed me there are other entrances to these bunkers. Some of them are large doors that you can drive cars and trucks through. Um, but this is uh, a small bunker top that would lead down into the basement area of uh, one of these recessed bunkers, okay? And um, what he showed me was stainless steel walls. It, the, it was very Spartan and very clean looking and the ceilings had uh, recessed lighting in stainless steel ceilings too. It was really interesting. And um, and I knew as I looked at this one part, um, I also saw that there was a, a tunnel and the same crystal staircase going side to side, fallen uh, like a crystal tunnel. Uh, that the fallen angels were walking to and fro in. Um, also, he showed that to me again. Um, and he told me that there were powerful men, there were pedophiles were down there, the fallen ones, there were some fallen ones down in this tunnel bunker area, and that there was, that they hated Trump and that he would not be welcome among them. And the second thing I was told was that Jeffrey Epstein is alive and among them and that they are going down into these bunkers and they are, uh, as we speak, getting ready for the rapture of the church. They know that we're very, very close to it somehow. All right. And so this is fascinating to me because um, I had never, I had heard that they were building this, but I didn't expect to see the inside of it. So uh, it was very interesting to me. So there was three groups of people, rich and powerful people, especially men. Um, there was a lot of pedophiles and there was fallen ones in Nephilim down there. Okay. And this is confirmed in scripture in two places. In Revelation 6, 15 to 17, it talks about how uh, the mighty men and the powerful men will go under the ground because they're preparing for the great day of the Lord and they're going to hide in the holes. And I found it also in Isaiah 2, verses 19 to 20. And so I'm going to read that to you because this one is more fam less familiar with people. And Isaiah 19, uh, the verse Chapter 2, verse 19 says, And they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for, for fear of the Lord 
and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. In that day, a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship to the moles and to the bats, to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the tops of the ragged rocks for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. We know that scripture tells us you can't worship mammon, which is money, and God at the same time. So this is telling us that the rich people are going to pour their idols of silver and gold, which is they're going to put all their money into these bunkers to protect themselves from the natural disasters and also the wrath of the Lord, which is coming. They know that Jesus is coming back. They know it. And um, it's actually comforting if you go back and read Isaiah 2 and 3. It, it talks about how it shall be well with the righteous because they shall eat the fruit of their doings, which is goodness. And it also says, woe to the wicked because the reward of his hands shall be given unto him. So the Lord, when he comes, he's going to bring recompense to the both the righteous, which is a reward and a terrible reward for the wicked who have who've done evil things. All right, so this is the end of my message. I know it's a little longer than I normally would put out. Um, but I felt like the whole thing had to be released as one piece because that is how I received it. Okay. Um, the fact that I'm receiving messages one after the other, the Lord is telling us that Jesus is really, really, really close to coming back. Okay, guys, you just have to be under the understanding that Jesus is coming back. He's coming back very, very soon. Please pray. Please make sure you're right with the Lord. Um, uh, spend the time well. Tell people about the gospel and lead as many to Christ as you can in these last remaining moments because we are very close to going home. God bless you.